Dan in Tenelfly, New Jersey writes to me and he says, hey Paul, why are AV receiver manufacturers, how do they manage to make DSD over HDMI from SACD capable Blu-ray players possible, yet higher end manufacturers who focus on separates do not? I can't figure out why the low to mid-end AVR manufacturers invest in making this possible while the high-end companies do not. It seems kind of backwards, no? In today's world where SACD players are scarce except for a few companies like PS Audio, all we have left for us disc spinners are SACD capable Blu-ray players, which is fine as long as we can realize B DSD over HDMI, which we can only with lower end equipment, which kind of defeats the purpose of it all, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Well, okay, a couple of reasons. First off, the Sony copyright restrictions are pretty severe. And when SACD first came out, and, and you have to remember back when all this was happening. So back when SACD came out, we were right in the middle of the Napster thing and with pirating um, because digital audio opened up a whole new era of sound quality, but copying quality. So remember when we had vinyl and when we had tape you could only make one or two copies, and every time you made a copy, the, the sound quality went down, 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 down. You couldn't, unless you had big duplicating machines that had, you know, were fed a parallel signal, you, you couldn't do it. The average Joe guy, you know, he would make a copy of his record on a cassette tape, and then he would make another copy of that cassette tape to, for another friend, and every time you do it, <coughs> quality goes down. Enter digital audio in 1982. All of a sudden, you could make a bazillion copies with zero degradation uh, of, of sound quality. That was a big deal. And then you could also stream it. So Napster, you know, the guys at Napster made these big hard drives, filled it up, put it on the network. People started sharing and musicians started getting no money. Uh, you know, the, I don't have to go through the whole thing. It was not a great time and a lot of change, and it really turned the music industry upside down. Add to that, then, Sony coming around and saying, oh, by the way, we have this new format that does high-resolution audio. What does that mean? Well, that means that the CD, which isn't the same as the master tape, that, that recording was made at, it's, it's a lower grade copy. Yes, it can be copied, but it isn't the master. Now we can take the master recording and put it on a disc for you to have. So now the musicians and producers are going, are you kidding me? It isn't bad enough that the, this, this degraded copy can be you know, sent all over the world and, and rip us off. Now you want to give us, you know, access to the master tapes? And Sony said, oh, oh, okay, okay, we'll do it, but we'll make an encryption system that means nobody can copy it. And that's what they did. And to this day, you can't get the DSD stream off of an SACD or a Blu-ray. It has to be encrypted. So, Sony makes a chip, and a couple of people make the same sort of chip, and it's an encryption chip, and it goes over HDMI, and it's all encrypted. You can't copy it, and if you, you can copy it, but they can't do anything with it. And the only way to unfold it is through this Sony chip. And guess what? Within the chip is the D to A converter. Now these chips are, I don't know, five bucks, seven bucks, they're cheap. And we could buy those chips, buy them all day long, and you could do the same in our high-end piece. Problem is, you're not going to get high-end sound out of it because the DACs they use are eh. And that's not what we're into. We don't do eh. So one of the reasons Octave exists, we can have DSD and we can share it with people. And we know it gets copied, but that's okay. We have a, a great community. 
Secondly, um, our SACD player does output the true master from the SACD into an external DAC, but only our DAC. And that's the way we got around this whole thing is you can't really copy it. You can now play it on a high-end DAC and really hear what it's all about, but you can't copy it. So that's why. And most companies don't even want to mess with all that. I mean, we invested a ton of money making this work. And not every company wants to do that. So hope that helps. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Thank you.